Whoa, what's with all the shaking? The whole ground is heaving. I thought it was supposed to be solid down here. Go quickly, Linker. Check on the ceiling spike at the center of the pit. There's nothing natural about these tremors. The monster could free itself at any moment. Approach the pit with caution. Go, go, go! The seal has given way. I'll explain it later, but now is the time for action. We must keep that beast from escaping the pit. We must not reach the temple. You got it. I think my gyro might be off. There we go, that was much easier. Excuse me. I'm so glad he ran out of the way. I guess I've got to hit him in his horn. What? You can't just flop the other way. Ew. I pushed it back out. Like a booger or something. Ew, and his toes flopped back out. Oh, gross. <laughs> Okay, don't be under the feet, obviously. Get it, get it! Stop it! Why you run that way? Smack it up, Link! Meet him. Oh, I stop? the cutscene. <laughs> a little bit faster there. God, I think I need to get like, front. Oh god! Oh man, doing terrible. Stop it! 
It hearts. Oh, bomb. Wait, could you? Oh, good. That was useless. Damn, he's gonna he's gonna get in there. Okay, that put him down though. Good. Work on this or right? You're not done? Please be done. You're too close to the top, man. Did we win? Did I win the game? Are we done? Now, Linker. Strike this ceiling spike with a skyward strike and restore the seal quickly. Like, what am I doing here? Going, Linker. Aw. Mm -hmm. Though the imprisoned had only just begun to awaken and break its bonds, I'm impressed you were able to restore the seal, keeping it captive. Unfortunately, you only have succeeded in buying us a little more time in which to act. The behemoth you beat back into the confinement is a horror of an unspeakable power. Judging by what I saw, I would not be surprised if a seal gave way again soon. So you are left with precious little time to complete the task with which you have been entrusted. Return to the sealed temple, Linker. There is much to discuss. Do you wanna... Do you wanna piggyback? I can... I can let you piggyback off of me. You're kinda slow. Bruce, oh man, what were you thinking about? Mm. As you can see, the gate is nothing more than a slab of cold stone for now. It is sleeping. Rousing it from its slumber would require great power. Yes, I believe a shot of the holy light from your Skyward Strike might just do it. Uh, sorry to disappoint you, boy, but 
For now, your sword lacks the power necessary to awaken the gate. First, you and your sword must grow together. Or on woods, Elden Volcano, and I, I keep calling it Lanryu, but I see there's another A in there. So it might be Laneru. Lanryu sounds cooler to me, but Laneru, I believe, is a name in another Zelda game. I have heard it said before like that. So I'll try my best to remember Laneru. The sacred flame is hidden somewhere in each of these lands. Seek them out and purify your sword with their heat. Only after your blade has been tam tampered by these three fires, it will fully Im imbued? imbued with the great power for which you search. Who's defining the sacred flames have been woven into the lyrics of our song, Precious to Our Old People, The Ballad of the Goddess. These clues are your best hope of finding your way to, to the flames. Return to Skyloft. Somewhere on your island is one whose knowledge of this old song will point you in the right direction. I bet you it's the headmaster. Because he had the harp too, didn't he? You let Zelda play with it. <laughs> oh man, don't be angry. <laughs> I hate even saying this, but I guess you got it all figured out, Granny. Me, well, there's nothing I can do to help Zelda. I'm useless. Oh, no, don't say that. Oh, you sell yourself short, my friend. You'll see in time that you have your own role to play. In all this. The controller was vibrating. Mm. Linker, go now. Trust in fate to guide your feet. Your mission depends on it, as does Zelda's fate. The Ballad of the Goddess, based on my projections, is likely the song Zelda sang on the day of the wing ceremony. I calculate an 85% probability that someone associated with the Academy will be able to provide additional information about this song. Hey, I already connected the dots, Spy! Me, I did it! Oh, come on. I couldn't do a thing. I'm totally useless. Oh. It's okay, Groose. Oh. Sniff. Oh, just be dead weight. What kind of use is that to anyone? Feathers. Never mind. <laughs> I want to also restock on some seeds if possible, but I think I have to go out the other way. Because I don't have very many uh, slingshot 
ammo. Maybe I could just hit all the pots in here. <laughs> like, how am I missing? Excuse me, what is that? Oh, I got it. You caught a far-on grasshopper. It said that these bugs reproduce in massive numbers once every 10 years, eating every plant in sight. Ooh, just three bugs left. Okay, bombs are nice, but... Oh, man! I don't have an empty bottle. Some seeds. There. More. <laughs> I wonder if the what's his name? I don't remember his name. The Goron out here felt all the shaking and stuff. <gasps> Oh, there are butterflies here. Did I just miss them? Great, Goron, I have found some. Look, those butterflies that respond to beautiful tones are swarming all over the, this place. This has to be the right spot. Herm. Oh, this could be a problem. I cannot carry a tune. I cannot create beautiful tones if wild animals threaten me to roll down a hill. What can we do? My mans. Mm -hmm. Oh, this could be pr okay. Boy, mm -hmm. that is it. One of the talking statues the ancient text spoke of. There is just no mistaking it. Thank you. Okay, so earlier in the game I said there was a thing that popped up near, um, the training building. It looked like this, except I believe it had a red eye instead, and they took it out of the game. Um, I don't know exactly why they took it out of the game. I didn't use it. I mean, that's probably why they took it out of the game, because not a lot of people used it. But it was basically a, um... Like a hint in video form of what to do next in the game if you were stuck. But I believe there's like a lot of hints everywhere in this game of what you have to do, so it was kind of like repetitive and redundant and not necessary. But yeah, let's go ahead and talk to this one. This one's a little bit different. I don't think it does exactly the same thing. I can't remember what they do, honestly, but I know that's what the other one did. Butterflies tend to gather around gossip stones like myself. If you find a spot swarming with butterflies, play the tune of great beauty and a gossip stone might just pop up out of the ground with a boyong. Okay, so I believe they just give you hints. Like spoken hints instead of video hints. <laughs> I missed them all. Is there any fruit? Oh, there's one up there. Of course, I need the slingshot to get the fruit down for the seeds. <laughs> one more? Oh, like a couple more. I don't want to go too far in. Whoops. <laughs> I can take that marker off now, though. 
There's a bird statue right here, so we'll just go home from here. I'm gonna come back through this area, so gathering the seeds right now is not that necessary. Like, it's not really that necessary. I just wanted to get some before I headed out. Alright, let's go talk to the headmaster. Get to the school over here. We're hopping down. Yeah. Food? Are you gonna eat your food now, Michelle? Man, I'm hungry. I had uh, some tuna bagels today. They weren't bad. It's just like not my first pick for like a meal. You might also have ravioli. Oh, I'm like, where'd you go? There he is. Your arms are really long. Ooh. You're back, Linker. Good to see you're still in one piece. So how's it going down there? Are you any closer to finding Zelda? Well, you see, I need to learn a thing that you might know. Hmm, I see, my dear Zelda. Things must be terribly trying for her down there. And it can't be easy for you now either, can it? And Groose is there with me too, so I don't know. What, you want to know the lyrics to the song Zelda sang on the day of the ceremony? You know, I'm not much of a singer. Just lyrics. We'll obviously sing it. Listen, as I said, I wouldn't feel comfortable serenading you, but if it's the lyrics you're after, I can recite them for you. Let's see. Oh, youth, youth guided by the servant of the goddess, untie earth, unite earth and sky, and bring light to the land. That's the first part, but as I recall, there's a second verse to the song. Oh, youth, show the hero whirling sails the way to the light tower, and before your path shall open, and a heavenly song you shall hear. I believe that's the whole thing. A light tower- the light tower mentioned in the song is a real place. I'm sure you've seen the tower in the plaza. I just don't know a thing about two whirling sails, though. It sounds like the song is suggesting that if one shows these whirling sails, they may the way to the tower, something will happen. But how do you go about doing that, and what does that mean? Two whirling sails, hmm. Maybe the teachers have more info. My man. You're finally in your room. Your room is great. I love it. Can I spend the night? Ah, oh, Linker, how's your search for Zelda going? Sorry for leaving it all up to you. I know you must be doing everything you can to find her. Mm. Well, okay then. Gonna spend the night- okay, anyways. I think I'm 18 in this game, I don't know. <laughs> I believe he was, like, the oldest Link at the time. What about you? No. Lately I've been taking care of Mia. Okay. No! No, I love you! No, stop! I've seen people make lasagna out of raviolis, Michelle. Uh, <laughs> Michelle. Okay, Pippet, do you have anything? Hey, Linker, you're looking pretty upbeat lately. That's the spirit. Zelda will be home before you know it. Just keep on believing that while you wait for her to come back. What? Wait? Excuse me. Are you not a knight? How dare you say wait? Why are you taller than me? 
<laughs> Yo, Groose left you. Hey! You just checked Groose's room and the guy is gone. You got any idea where he went? Maybe he had to run away because of his broken heart? What a tough guy. <laughs> Mike is short, apparently. He is! He was the shortest in Breath of the Wild, aside from the children. Even the women were taller than him. Especially the Gerudo ladies, oh boy. Oh good, you have a quest. Hello. Ah. These past few days, I swear I hear a voice every time I walk past the restroom at night. Who in the world is in there? I just wish I they'd pipe down. Oh. Nothing yet. Do you know anything? Hi. Hey, Linker. What do you- oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. uh. Still nothing. Hmm. I guess I'll go climb the tower and see if I can figure anything out. Why do you guys gather here if there's nothing here? Ooh. Linker, my sister made it home safely. Thank goodness. I was so worried about her. Thanks so much for your help, Linker. Wait, what? I came over here earlier and you didn't have- Whatever. don't remember anything that he told us. <laughs> okay, fine. Great whirling sails toward the light tower. Although the meaning of this phrase is unclear, I recommend that you search around Skyla for two things that could be contribute 
construed as whirling sails. <gasps> oh god! <laughs> I gotcha. I remember. Where's my... Where's my Korok leaf? What's up, Blinker? So you're curious about that windmill, eh? Pretty smart design, I gotta say. You can turn the windmill so that it can always catch the wind no matter which way it's blowing. But, well, there used to be this little propeller attached to the windmill so that you could turn it. The thing flew off ages ago. It must have dropped down off the edge down beneath the clouds. Hmm. Wonder where it is. The windmill's been useless, uselessly sitting there ever since. I highly suggest you retrieve the windmill propeller from the land below to Ro... 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 The windmill? To Ro... 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 What? Reorient? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Why is it spelled like that? I wanna know if I could fix the wind- You wanna know if I could fix the windmill if you brought back the propeller? Well, if I had to- If I had the propeller, I could probably rig something together to get it back on there, sure. He's interesting looking. But how would you even go looking for a propeller in the first place? Once something falls through the clouds, it's gone for good. Hang on. Come to think of it, Gondo at the scrap shop told me he told me that someone in his family once used a flying robot to haul junk back from beneath the clouds. But we're talking about a tales that's been passed down over a lot of years, so I wouldn't put much stock in it. Oh. Hey, Daddyus, How's it going? <laughs> I know where the propeller is. We saw it earlier in the game. But we have to get this robot thing up and running. And he... Oh, or hang on a second. No, I'm gonna talk to him! I see you're looking well these days. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you'd found the time to gather all the variety of magnificent... Oh. Uh, okay. Come, come closer. If it's treasure you seek, I'll use all my mystical vision to find answers for you. Okay, I guess he'll kind of give you the hint to where the treasures are. I just happen to know where this one is, because I saw it earlier. Hey! hey kid, what's up? You look like you need to get something off your chest. I th think I know what it is. You've got a favor to ask me, right? Yep. Huh? Huh? It's about the old robot my grandpa used to tinker around with. He probably just came here to make fun of the crazy junk guy for believing in his grandpa's stupid stories, right? Well, get in line. I've heard it before. Wait, that's not why you're here? You say you need to pick up something from below the clouds with this robot? Do you know what that means? 
That means you believe in my grandpa's stories too, don't you? Well, I'm happy to hear that someone else believes me, but I don't think I can help you. You see, my grandpa's old robot. What's it called again? Oh, hey, that's right, I remember. His name is Scrapper. He may not be much to look at these days, but he's an amazing ro he was an amazing robot once. When you called him, he would go anywhere to ha and haul anything. Sadly, as you can see now, he's just in their busted old junk. Hunk of junk. But old grandpa did tell me this. You can get him working again with the extracts from an ancient flower. It's like oil to this guy. But I've never even heard of it. Much less seen anything like it. Take mine. Ooh. What, you have one? Are you kidding me? That's amazing. Ooh. I have a couple. <laughs> so this is an ancient flower. I can't... I can feel some shtick, oily, slick, oily stuff coming out of the stem. Great with- great with this we can fix Scrapper. Right right here. I'll have him up and running in no time. <sighs> Ew, there you go. I feel like you should have an a time shift stone too. Thank you, Bzzz. I've got a full tank of energy and I'm ready to carry anything. Huh? Who is that green-clad individual of small stature? Wow! Again! With the height thing! I'm not the shortest man in all of Hylia here! So, so shut up! <laughs> Whoa, it talks. Can you believe it? I guess I really did fix him. This kid gave me the materials I needed to fix you. Go on. Say thank you. Hmm, are you sure it was him? Well then, I extend my reluctant thanks to you in a gesture of obligatory gratitude. Er, chunk? Wow. Hey now, watch it. That's no way to talk to someone who just saved your life. Is that thing cat-powered? <laughs> Anyways, this kid wants you to haul something, some stuff around, and you're going to help him. Hmm, this individual may have restored my operations, but I am not inclined to offer assistance. Serving children is very low on my task priority. Wow! I'm like... 17. <laughs> I don't actually know. Master Linker. Materials from the windmill have... Yielded a sign that you may have that you may search with your dowsing ability. Use it to locate the fallen propeller. No, but the Zelda one's gone. However, it will not hold on. But like something bit me just now. However, it will not be possible to carry the item in your pouch and return to the sky. Who are you? Your name is Fi? Should I call you Mistress Fi? You are looking for something, Mistress Fi? Oh, lord. I... I understand. At your request, I will carry anything, regardless of weight or destination. Alright. Master. We now have the means to bring the propeller back to Skyloft. You may immediately begin your search for the wind... power windmill pe propeller. Master Shortpants, I- Wow! <laughs> I offer assistance, I can now detect Mr. Spy's thought waves. Oh! Should you need me ask Mr. Spy to call me and I will arrive with haste. So how do you plan to recover all the stuff that fell beneath the clouds? You know, you could always ask the fortune teller over there. I know he's kind of goofy looking, but when it comes to finding things, he's always right on the money. I don't appreciate being called, being called short pants. I've been hearing some weird rumors. Apparently, nightfall people have been hearing a woman sobbing in the dormitory. I tell you, it gives even a big guy like me the creeps. Like in our night school? Are you talking about the toilet ghost too?
Alright, we'll do it this time. We might do it a couple more times if I need more items. I can't actually remember anything item-wise past this point, but I'll just show you guys what happens. Myrtle at it again. Yes, treasure. You wish for me to gaze into the crystal ball and foresee treasure. I must confess, I knew a little about treasure. Ah, oh, well, I guess I can give it a shot. Ah. Uh, I see many things. All is revealed. Yes, a towering forest, sandy dunes, a blazing mountain, monsters. These are all sources of treasure that I foresee. Which source of treasure do you want to hear about? Um... Shoot. Is it considered the mountain, I guess? Smoldering and... Sulfurous. Yes, I see blazing mountain. There you will find... Lizard tails and something called Eldenor. I see it now. supposed to pick the other thing? You want a brownies and gave you cookies? Rude. <laughs> oh, I see many things. All is revealed. Oh yes, you are searching for something. Allow me to gaze into your future. I see a propeller falling through the sea of clouds. It is discarded left to the elements. I see a mountain of fire. I see a temple on this burning mountain. What you seek is just down the mountain from this temple. The burning mountain. Could such a thing truly exist? Okay. I swore he told me treasures before I walked up to him. But it was where to next? What a waste of ten rupees. That's all I can see for the moment. Okay. Good luck. White peach lemonade. Gosh. Okay. We're gonna go to... <clears throat> This one, Elden, over here. We're gonna fetch the item. Or Blondie. I want a Blondie. Give me one. Welcome back. Hitting you? Oh, sorry. The daemon? Lay down if you need to, Michelle. Uh, it's possible to ascend to a specific bird statue on the surface after you have already visited it, and I have memorized its location. Okay. Did I go to the wrong one? I did. Went to the wrong beam of light.
Look how far away that was. Uh, I don't know. I thought the yellow one was the red one. They're a little bit similar in their colors. this time. <laughs> I think it's this one. Why is there only four here? Did, like... Was I cock blocked from the rest of this map, I think? Was that what it was? Probably. Oh, I see you! I see you! I've heard some of the goddess cubes unlock all sorts of treasure when they fly up into the sky. Some even hold a piece of heart. Thank you. I knew that too, though. So. Alright, here it is. The thing we've been looking for. Remember? I told you guys to remember that. This is the windmill propeller you were searching for. It is now possible to retrieve this using the robot whose service we have enlisted. You want me to call for the robot? Yeah. I will send word to the robot using telepathic transmission, Master. Mistress Fi, I hope you weren't waiting long. So, you want me to carry this? Hey, Mr. Shortpants, you're in my way here. I say get out of the way. Wow. If I'm so short, I shouldn't have been in the way. I'll be waiting for you up in the sky, so don't take too long. Master, I suggest that we also return to the sky and collect the propeller as soon as possible. I want to just fall off this ledge here. No, I'm kidding. Hey, Jordy, just in time. I thought I could carry 25. Was that with the bomb bag? Why did I think I could carry 25? I don't know. You need a big sweater, it's cold. Look at this guy. I wanted to go through the thing and zoom away from him, but it didn't work. Alright, where is the other one at? I think it- is it right here? Oh, well, I guess I don't have a choice. I'm trying to make it to a stream, but man, I sleep too late, jeez. What are the odds of the bird moving on the robot? Here's that windmill propeller. Wow. So if you need me, 
clang, feel free to call. For Mistress Fight, I will travel travel to any destination. Okay. We know she's a sword, right? Well, isn't that the beat up old robot for Gondo's place? Wait just a second. Is that it is, it's the windmill propeller. That thing was supposed to have fallen down below the clouds. Are you saying the whole story headed down through Gondo's family was actually true? Hmm, somehow I get the feeling this is all some, some elaborate pr prank, but I guess I'll try to fix this thing. She a sword, she only has one use. Backstabbing! This goes in here and I just crank that a few clicks. You. Yeah. That'll do it. If you can find some way to spin the propeller, you can probably turn the windmill around. Hey! Honey, honey. Oh no, I think I might have promised my wife I'd fix our cupboard. I swear that woman's always looking for somebody. Oh, yeah, Chris Coquille, right? Or, that was her name, right? Can't remember the kid's name. See you around, Linker. God, did he got glad he got through that te very technical solution of hammering on it. Yep, I'm gonna do the magic part. Of course, you go the exact opposite way of which I want you to. That texture, so beautiful. We go. Like, do I have to do something else here? horrifying when you sing, right?
Master, there is a high probability that this beam of light will lead us to clues as to the whereabouts of the three flames. I recommend that you investigate what lies at the end of this beam of light. She moved. I feel him. Can I jump off here? I don't think I can. I think I have to jump off off of one of these like things here. Let's head out. going towards this beam. You cannot just stop me. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Is that a rainbow? Go away. Go to the rainbow. No, go to the beam like we said we would. Raining. Feels dangerous. There's a goddess chest. Okay. It's not active. Oh. Yeah. Um, I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go. Oh, I missed! <laughs> Good job. Should I... Start over there. Don't see anything. There we go. <laughs> Master Linker, I have memories of this island. It is known as the Island of Songs. Isle of Songs. Signs indicate that it was left here for you by the goddess. However, I'm unable to determine a means of entering the structure ahead. I suggest you investigate the area. Rotate the center pedestal to complete the bridge that allows you to step to the great tower on the Isle of Songs. Okay. Oh, I see. How do I get rid of those? Let's see what hitting this does. Ew. Okay. 
Okay, I moved that one too many spaces. Excuse me? <laughs> I'm supposed to like line them up and try. This again. Come on, hit it. Look at that. Do something. Link. Jesus. this like a smaller one to stay in place or something I hate this puzzle. Oh. 
We need this this little one here. No. This one right here. Right? Okay, they're lined up. Now we just gotta get them there. Okay, I did it. If there wasn't any anywhere else, I could have lined them up. To like get somewhere else, something. Kind of interesting how the entrance is like a little crawl space. I know what I gotta do. Oh my god, is that god a statue singing? <sighs> Master Linker, I have important information. When you struck the crest with a Skyward Strike from your sword, a message from the goddess awakened deep within my memory. The goddess intended this message for you, Master. These are her words. He who seeks the sacred flame, listen well, for I guide you from my place at the edge of time. The sacred flames are three in number. To obtain them, you must earn relics known as the three sacred gifts. For each trial you overcome, you shall be blessed with one of those gifts. Make use of the power of these gifts and you will find your way to purifying sacred flames. Now I must bestow unto you a melody. It will serve as serve you as a key, opening the first trial that awaits you deep in the wilds of Foron Woods. Foron, yeah. <laughs> How did he just know the tune? That song is called Barforce? Fairforce? Barforce? Courage. It's rousing melody will guide you. Master, you must overcome these trials set before you and obtain the three gifts to reach the sacred flames. I've committed horrors. Horrors? I don't know what that is. Uh, courage to memory. Now you can use your dowsing ability to search for the gate leading to the first trial you must face. I suggest you set up for Bar on Woods as soon as you are ready. Welcome back, Michelle. Actually, we'll just save and quit here. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the stream a little bit early today, but we got a lot done. So let's go ahead and head out.